similar to loose furniture, to add any door or window to your catalog, Infernia accepts any 3D model of the same in the form of an OBJ, GLB or blend file, which you will need to have in your system beforehand and can be sourced externally. To add a 3D file, we first need to go to the admin portal, which is currently in the screen in front of you. Then we go to catalog in the left hand panel. Herein, you can see options such as furniture, accessories, hardware, building, etc. However, the difference between doors or windows as opposed to loose furniture is that we cannot assign it to anywhere in the furniture category. We need to assign a 3D file to its exact category, which in this case is the building, which I will click on now. And as you can see, there are other categories therein, such as balcony railing, baluster, door, windows, pillars, etc. If you're adding a door to the Infernia catalog, you need to select that exact door category. Likewise, for a window, you need to select the window category. This is so that it creates an opening in the wall in which it is placed, as opposed to any loose furniture, such as a sofa. For now, I will be adding a door. So I will be going into the door category. Herein, you can see there's several other categories already available, such as single, double, sliding, gate, etc. You can either add a new subcategory or you can add the door into any of these existing ones. For now, I will click on add subcategory. They will ask for name. I will type in test for now and hit submit. Now I will need to add a group which will act as a placeholder for the door file. Select add group in the top right and type in the group name or brand of your particular object. I will type in kitchen door and click on add. Finally, I need to add a 3D model or the skew by selecting on the plus symbol in the thumbnail which is called add new SKU. Herein, the name, description and 3D model are compulsory, whereas the rest are not. We ensure that the placement is at base and we type in the name, in this case, a door, kitchen door, and the description will be, I will just type in door for now. You can put in a display image if you wish. However, for now, I will leave it as blank. Next, click on upload 3D model in order to put in your file. They will once again ask for an OBJ, blend or GLB file. I will select upload, go to downloads and go to a folder that I've saved specifically for this purpose. I will select the OBJ file and click open. They will also ask for a corresponding material file. This is not something you need to download separately. The MTL file will usually come along with the .obj file automatically when you download it from an external source. I will click on upload and click on kitchen door corresponding MTL file. This would automatically be narrowed down usually you can make sure of this by ensuring that the drop down menu here is set to MTL file. Now I will select open. They may or may not ask for required texture files. If they do, always remember that the texture files will be downloaded automatically along with the MTL and OBJ file. And all you need to do is select the ones with the correct corresponding names. Once I do that, I select confirm uploads. And then I click on submit. I will select go to design portal and select a design on which to load my newly added door. 
Now, all I need to do is click on door here. Select change model. And now you can see that the test subcategory along with the kitchen door appears in the carousel here. I'll click on the thumbnail and simply place the door here. As you can see, it has created an opening in the wall. When I go to 3D, you can see that this door has been fully and completely loaded. And the opening has been created in the wall accordingly. Now, you can see that you can change the dimensions here, just like you would with an object. Lastly, the MTL file that I had loaded earlier would show up in the materials drop down menu. In this particular OBJ file, only one mesh has been assigned to it, for which I will select change. And I can choose any material that I want. For now, I will just select any of the class textures.